the remnant part two, Isaiah 37, verse 31 to 35. And before the service started, we had the praise and worship and the words that, that really came to my thinking were, how great is our God, a name above all names, worthy of our praise. And that's for definite, worthy of our praise. We signed the contract Wednesday and we promised to give God a massive praise. God's promises are never broken, it will happen. God is absolutely in control. These times, rules of engagement have definitely changed. Life has changed, we have to go with it. We can all testify to that. God's ways are not our ways. The king of Assyria, he was brutal. He had a strong army. The warriors, they were brutal, very brutal. They captured the northern tribe and they were very self-confident in themselves. We have confidence in our God. Hezekiah received a letter from the king of Assyria saying, what makes you think your God can stop us? Look at our reputation. The purpose of fear in Hezekiah was to bring down Judah. This reminded me so much of today. Fear has shut the mouth of believers, stopping the purposes of God. Hezekiah took the letter to God. He laid it on the altar. He didn't take it to man. Praise is a believer's weapon. Hezekiah asked Isaiah the prophet to pray on behalf of the remnant. Alignment is another thought that came into my mind. God's principles. Alignment is one of God's principles. Alignment to the man of God over us. Placed there by God, not by man himself. God is jealous of our praise. When the Assyrians came against you, he will not allow them to even come near you. They will fall into the ditch they dug for you. God is with us. Praise God on purpose. Make, make up your mind to praise him on purpose. God is going to do incredible things. But remember, his ways are not our ways. God will come through for us. Just like he did for Judah. Thank you. Bye.